Well, this gets us into another question, which is kind of a broader question, which is, should we honor and respect any belief that someone has that they hold dear to themselves, right? I mean, if someone believes gay marriage is wrong because of the Bible, is that honorable since it's the Bible? If someone believes gay marriage is wrong without the Bible, just because they personally don't like gay people, is that less bad, right? If someone believes non-virgins should be stoned on their wedding day, it doesn't matter whether you believe it because of Deuteronomy 22, 13 to 21, or because you're a bad person, right? I mean, in, in essence, does the reasoning behind someone's belief affect how we should uh, uh, honor or respect that belief? Oh, you're asking me? I, I, okay. Either of you. Okay, I'll, I'll take this one first and then time can follow up. Uh, I think you don't have to respect any belief, but you have to respect people's ability to have that belief. The right, right to believe whatever they want. Yeah, okay. absolutely. People should be able to believe whatever they want, especially especially in this country. But um, well, let's but, but, face but, it, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of beliefs that are pretty mainstream we find to be despicable. Well, let's take it before Natan responds. Let's take it on a sliding scale. Let's take it away from something like whether uh, non-virgins should be stoned or gay people are bad. If someone has the belief that the earth is flat, right, we start getting into honoring scientific fact versus moral belief. Some people would argue that the line there is a blurry one. Uh, for example, on abortion, when, when is a, a person a person, right? And if someone believes that they need to take an even number of steps in their room before going to bed or something bad will happen, well, that's a medical condition called OCD. If someone believes the ghost of Abraham Lincoln talks to them every night, now we're talking about schizophrenia, right? Where is the line as to what beliefs we should honor and respect? Well, I think that as a matter of fact, we don't respect or honor all beliefs. I mean, if, if a doctor, you know, takes his medical board license exams and says that I think that um, strep throat is caused by a magic fairy, they're not going to give him a license. If, okay. If a, shi if a ship captain says that the earth is flat, and he doesn't want to go through the Panama Canal because he's afraid it's going to fall off the cliff or something like that, right. he's probably not going to keep his job for very long. So okay. as a matter of fact, not all beliefs are, are, can simply be respected and, and let, you know, gone. But the two that you're bringing up specifically are uh, issues. Job-related. They're job-related, but they're specifically the person must be met clinically insane, right? Whereas, a, it, it, so is that really the question? Any belief, if it's based in the Bible, that you should stone non-virgins on their wedding day. Uh, because it's in the Bible and it's under the guise of being religious, it's not considered insane. I, I would find that to be an insane belief. There are plenty of insane beliefs. And if a ship captain does believe that the, the world is flat, um, he might lose his job as a ship captain because of that. But he can still hold that belief and he will not be put in prison because well, of that belief. But that's just a med metaphysical law. You can't you can't make someone think something else. It's like if someone I mean, doesn't, always be true someone no doesn't believe in gravity, they're still subject to gravity, right? Right. Exactly. Send me your thoughts on this one. How far does we should respect and honor all beliefs go for you? DavidPackman.com. Send me your information. Uh, send, send, not your information, your thoughts on this. <laughs> yeah, send uh, Dave your information. Send Lewis your information, and then he'll reach back out to you if uh, he deems that, uh, if he believes your, your beliefs are indicative of mental illness rather than uh, something worthy of being honored. Yeah, I guess He's I'll be the one to make that, that determination. <laughs>